Some of us are lucky, we get a job. Like all of us here have gotten jobs and cool. But listen to me, this is where it begins to get rough. That job is your first problem. That good job of the past, you say, go to job, go to get go to school, save for the future has become a very dangerous advice. Now, so you wake up every morning and you have become a member of the rat race, a kute. You are up by 4 a.m., 5 a.m., you are ready to hit the road running. So you have enjoyed the rat race. Now, I normally ask people, how many hours do you work in your company? A lot of people tell me 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock. No problem. But you didn't do the calculation well. So what is the calculation? The calculation is that you wake up by 5 a.m. to resume by 8 a.m., finish by 5 a.m., but get to by 10 a.m. So the time of productivity in a company is 17 hours per day. 17 hours per day is 71% of your time you are working for another man. So 29% belongs to you. And that 29%, 28 of them you are sleeping. So you are not producing for yourself. Every morning you are conversant with this traffic. You know the shape of the cars. If you don't see traffic, you believe there's a problem. You get to the office every single time. Rat race there. There's career pressure, over time stress, target committing. This is what happens every single day of your life. My brother, you can't kill yourself and come and die. There is an alternative. You need to plan. How do I get out of this dodgy, wicked, demonic, battered mindset of rat race? Because at the end of it, all rat, whether you like it or not, whether you become the MD of the, of the company, you are still a rat. You are not, you are not the owner of the company. Eh? Whether you become the MD of the company, a rat is still a rat. Ratus, ratus, botanical name. Eh? Should I unlock it? Yes, sir. Should I unlock it? Yes, sir. Should I go rough? Yes. Okay, good. The difference between an eagle and a vulture is appetite. <laughs> now, the botanical name of the eagle and the botanical name of the, of the vulture is called Acripedia. Both of them are from the same family. In short, the eagle is actually called the old vulture. An eagle is a vulture. The difference between this vulture and that eagle is what they eat. A vulture will eat animals that are weak, that are sick, and are ready to die. But an eagle will not do that. Okay. Let me take it closer home. There are three types of vultures. You have the white-necked vulture. The white-necked vulture is symbolic because it can smell. Five kilometers away, kill an animal. A white-necked vulture will smell the blood and go there. A lot of you, I've never seen anybody that has had any party and has invited a vulture in the village. Once you kill that animal, just wait five minutes, you see vulture appearing. Did you invite the vulture? No. It's because there are some people around you, when a lot enters your phone, somehow they know. They will send you a text that mama is sick, papa is sick. Eh? So they have the gift of smell. They can smell very well. So most of them, when I hear about the white neck vulture, I say those ones are in the marketing department, R&D. They heard that Dangote is opening a new refinery. So they know how to go and research about Dangote. We have to hit our target. So they are in marketing department, the white neck vulture. Now, when they go, they will write their report and send back in. Now, apart from the white neck vulture, then there is the black neck vulture. The black neck vulture cannot smell. The black neck vulture watches wherever the white neck vulture goes to, he will follow them. So me, I always tell them as those ones are in operation and admin department. Because those ones are not market facing. The white neck vulture are in marketing. The black neck vulture are in admin, finance, and operations department. They don't leave the house. They are always in the office. Now, when they bring the report and write it, the management meeting, they have to wait for approval to eat this animal. So they wait for the red neck vulture. The red neck vulture has long neck and can tear its talon. So those are the ones that tear the animal. And those ones are the ones that reach for the animal. Now, guess what? So the manager will approve for the marketer to close the deal. Then the operations will manage the deal. But all of them are vultures. Stay with me. Now, if your dependency is on salary alone, then you are suffering from a vulture mentality. 
It will be rough, don't worry. If your dependency is on salary, your MD will kill, will collect the animal. He will eat, he will buy a new car, a Lincoln Navigator. After he has finished that, he will buy a new house in America. He will travel with his children to the Philippines. Then come back. When he finishes whatever he do, on the 14th of next month, he will consider to decide to attempt to contemplate to pay you. 50% of the money. <laughs> mm. But you can be working in a company and be an ego. An ego kills its The wise thing for you to do is for you as, a, as somebody who may be working in somewhere to consider how do I convert myself from being a vulture into an ego. Now the man has sucked your blood 17 hours. Instead of you closing by 5 a.m., why don't you take one or two extra hours to develop your mindset? To be able to position yourself for the next place. Because whether you like it or not, an ego has got to kill for his own. Stop thinking about the other man this thing. Yes, you are there to learn, but you must develop and push yourself to the next level. An ego has the opportunity to live for 70 years. An ego represents beauty, freedom, power. That's what all of us are looking for. An ego has the opportunity to stay for 70 years, but at 40 years, it has to take a decision. Every single one of you here is an ego for you to enter this place and sit there. But there is a th there's something you must do if you are going to live the extra 10 30 years. I fast forwarded my life. I said I'm not going to stay in one place, stay in one house and then live from hand to mouth. Stop taking care. I needed to take my life serious. So what did I do now? I can ego. It has a ritual it will take after 40 years. If you don't want to do the ritual it will go to the, to the way under the winter. Allow the cold to touch it. When the cold begins to freeze its blood, it will just lie down there and die. But if it says it's going to pay the price, like every single one of you have removed Move money from your pocket, money from your sweat to go to the next level. That ego will go to the highest mountain. An ego survives with flesh and what flesh and blood. It will go to that mountain and to smash its beak upon the rock. It will smash it. So for a period of time, it cannot eat flesh and blood. It cannot eat flesh and blood. It will stay there. Watch other people getting promoted. Watch other people getting new cars. Watch other people sweat. It will wait for new beak to come out because it cannot eat anymore. When the Big comes out to pluck out every single talent in his hand. The big, the eagle survives with blood and flesh. It will remove all his talons with his own mouth, remove everything and wait for the talons to come anew because that is what it will use to catch the market. After it has done that, it will go and pluck every single feather out of his hand and pluck everything. Blood and water will flow out of it for 150 days. No food, no water. Pain is the down payment for gain. If you are going to win tomorrow, get ready to endure that pain. After 150 days, it will come out. His eyes will turn red. God help the rat that comes out. God help it. Until you get hungry, you are not permitted to eat. You are not permitted to eat. Your dependency is on salary. There's something wrong with your brain. There's something wrong with your brain. A certain percentage of what you have should be channeling to making money into other areas. Stop looking at somebody's money to make money for you. That's rubbish. That's poverty mentality. I don't care how much you have. If you are not making money by yourself, if you are not an ego, you are not supposed to be in this class. True. You are not supposed to be in this class. The responsibility of the female lion is to hunt. The female lion are businessmen. The responsibility of the cub is to learn from their fathers, learn from their mothers, learn how the mothers hunt, how the fathers hunt. They need to learn. The responsibility as young employees is to learn how do your MDs take decisions? How do they work? How, how do the managers, how do they think? How do they project? How do they do their NPR? How do they set their targets? How do they do this? Your responsibility is not to come and sit down. And wait, you are supposed to look at the target and make it happen. I was tired of being a second class citizen in a company. Yes, I may be a junior manager, but my brother, I was thinking that I was the deputy managing director of that company. And if you ask anybody in that company, they will tell you, my pride of excellence was too much. I was tired of being number two. It's either I'm number one or forget it. 
forget it. Because at a certain point, when that lion cub becomes three years old, they chase it out. They chase it out of the pride because it can get the females pregnant. Now, at a certain point in your life, you need to fill this path. What does that lion, that pride, that cub do? It goes out and becomes a scavenger. It goes to survive. It goes to survive. This is the missing part of every successful man. When they give you free food, they stop you from thinking. So you need to learn, how do I scavenge? How do I survive with nothing? Because if they give you one million to start a business, you are not yet a scavenger. You need to go down to zero and start all over again. Let's go down to zero. Everything that you build starts from under. It is only the grave you start from on top. The grave you dig down. Every other thing starts from under. Yeah? Stop pitying yourself. Learn to remove the talents. Learn to remove your big. Learn to watch other people. Find out what are they doing wrong. Your competitive analysis, your, your strategy, you need to watch. What are they doing? How do they break, break into this level? You need to, you need to learn to, to do it. You need to learn to take all this. Learn to survive. Who says you need an office to start a business? It is not a written law. It is at scavenger level you will learn that. Because you will lose it all to gain it all. How do you boil a frog? Or how do they kill your dream? <laughs> a frog has potential to jump high, to run, to, to jump as far as anything. But so the only way to deal with that frog is to put the frog inside normal water. So when the frog enters inside the normal water and is staying inside there, they begin to increase the heat there. Now, what they didn't know is that the more they increase the heat, the more it will adapt to the heat, adapt to the heat, adapt to the heat. When your MD sees you have potential, when your MD sees that you are somebody of grace, what he does, he increases your salary and increases your target and then tie you with a car loan. Now, before you know what's happening, you have a brand new Prado, eh? new Pancardi and B suit who go bust trousers and you're on point. Your phone has changed from Nokia 3310. You're now using Samsung S10. You know, wireless. You're going to London for training. But what you don't know, they're putting heat under it. By the time the frog is boiled well, it's the one that will die. How do you boil a frog? By putting it somewhere and increasing the heat. When your MD wants to kill your dream, he increases your salary. So let's unlock the code. I got tired and I said I needed to take the market. I needed to take it by force.